When I was asked by Banggood to review a budget power bank, I didn't have high expectations. I've reviewed power banks in the past and been disappointed. I was further skeptical as the claims of the dual USB ports, 8,000 milliamp capacity, the ability to charge a tablet or phone simultaneously and charge the power bank at the same time are what you'd expect from a $50 or more power bank, not one that was available at the time of this review for $20. So let's take a look at the Rock Light Stone power bank. So the unit itself comes in a typical retail packaging, looks pretty good. The picture of the power banks on the front, slightly textured, it comes in a white and a dark grey. Uh, the specifications for the unit are on the back of the box and we'll take a closer look at those a bit later. I don't like unboxing videos so I'll be brief, the power bank comes in a plastic sleeve for protection, in the box you get the power bank, a small flat USB to micro USB cable, a warranty card and a small instruction book with instructions in Chinese and English. The design of the power bank is simple and minimalistic with two main USB ports and a charging micro USB port on the bottom of the unit. There's a single flush mount button on the front with four small LEDs that indicate charge is being provided and the remaining battery capacity. This power bank comes with an LED light at the top. A double click of that button turns the light on or off and if you click and hold you can even adjust the brightness of the light up or down. Initial impressions of the power bank are surprisingly good. It feels good in the hand. It's about the size of an iPhone 6 or a Galaxy, just a little bit thicker. Uh, it has some weight to it, but it's not heavy. It just feels like it should. I thought the light feature would be useless or one of those pretend flashlights, but it's actually pretty useful. It's not super bright and it's, n it's a floodlight, not a throwing light, but it produces a usable and very diffused light. So what about the claims on the back of the box? Well, the unit claims to have an 8,000 milliamp hour battery and requires a five volt, two amp power supply for charging. The output claims are somewhat contradictory as each output is rated at 2.4 amps, of which there are two. But the very next line states that the total output is 2.4 amps. So I tested this unit using a small charge doctor to show actual voltage and amperage being provided by the power bank. I quickly tested the charge doctor on a very good power bank I've had for a few years and everything seemed fine. I'm aware that this is in a laboratory level testing but it's sufficient for a power bank so let's do some tests. I fully charged the power bank and then started with the first USB port that had two lightning bolts beside it indicating it that it was the high powered port. The best output I could get from this port was 4.85 volts at 900 milliamps. Now if that's the high powered port then we won't be charging anything like an iPad with this unit and it won't be meeting expectations. I then tried the other ports that has a single lightning bolt. The result was almost opposite of expectations as the port was capable of delivering the same 4.85 volts at 1.4 amps. So it appears that the ports or the labelling for the ports have been swapped, they're back to front. Working on the fact that the ports are back to front, I tested the actual high powered port. I charged a partially drained iPad 4 for 30 minutes. As you can see, the power bank charges the iPad, but at a slightly slower rate than the Apple iPad charger, as the Apple, Apple iPad charger delivers just over 2 amps. A good 500 milliamps or more, more than this power bank. That said, the unit does charge a tablet. I then connected an iPhone 6 to the low power port and no surprise it charges the iPhone at a full charge rate or what appears to be very close to a full charge rate. As the total output the device is rated at 2.4 amps it should be capable of charging both devices simultaneously so let's test that. And as you can see both the iPad and the iPhone charge at the same time so based on the outputs of each port it's reasonable to say that the device delivers 2.3 amps at 4.85 volts, which is close to the claimed output. One of the other claims that this unit can be charged 
whilst charging devices connected to the USB ports. In this instance we need to keep in mind it's not possible to provide 2.3 amps of output and take a 2 amp or less input and still have enough power left over to charge the internal battery. I disconnected the iPad but kept the iPhone connected. I then connected a standard phone charger rated at less than 1 amp to the micro USB port on the power bank. And the power bank did not charge. I repeated the test with a 2 amp charger and the power bank started charging the internal battery whilst powering or charging the iPhone. I consider that a pass. So as far as the claims go, this power bank delivers, although I would have been happier if the output voltage was closer to 5 volts. So what about inside the unit? Well, the unit is well made. The two plastic halves are fairly firmly clipped together and the battery adheres to both of those halves via some form of, uh, form of adhesive pad. Once open, we can see the battery, the battery and USB power supply board and the LED light board at the top of the unit. Everything looks quite good. The solder joints are secure and have good shiny appearance. The charging IC is hidden under the bit of that white gloop but there any, isn't anything really else noteworthy on that main board. Uh, the battery doesn't have any obvious markings, but the size and depth suggest it should be pretty close to an 8 amp hour battery. So, overall, I think this is a bargain, as long as it stays at the $20-$25 uh, current price. Uh, it meets or comes very close to meeting its claimed 2.4 amp output and can sim simultaneously charge an iPhone and a tablet and it can be recharged while doing so, at least with uh, uh, an iPhone or something equivalent attached. The battery capacity seems realistic based on the indicated drain whilst charging devices and considering a full charge from empty takes about 4 hours using a 2.1 amp 5 volt supply. I put the link to the power bank in the description of this video for those that are interested. As always, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I hope you'll join me again next time.